In addition to filling the hopper with pellets, your Trekker stove or insert requires simple maintenance to keep it operating at its best. The frequency of maintenance will depend on how often you burn pellets and the quality of pellets you use. Before performing any of these tasks, always allow the stove or insert to cool completely. Remove the ash pan and empty the contents into a metal or non-combustible container with a tight-fitting lid. Store the container in a safe place, far away from combustibles. To clean the glass, use a soft cloth and a non-abrasive cleaner specifically formulated for stove glass. Spray the cleaner on the cloth and then clean the glass. Avoid spraying cleaner directly on the glass since overspray can break down the fibers in the gaskets. This is a good time to inspect the door latch and seals to ensure they are in good condition and sealed tightly. Before cleaning the fire pot, make sure the unit is completely cool. If your unit has a log set, be careful when removing it, since log sets are fragile. Gently remove any loose ash from the logs and vacuum out the firebox before replacing the logs. Using the fire pot cleanout tool that came with the unit, remove excess buildup from the fire pot floor and sides. Push out clinkers from the top of the fire pot and be sure to thoroughly clean out the air holes. The Quadrifire Trekker has a fire pot cleaning lever on the bottom front of the appliance behind the cast iron door. When pulled, it empties debris from the fire pot into the ash pan. Make sure the unit is cool and open the cast front of the unit. Pull the fire pot cleaning lever two times until the ash falls into the ash pan below. If unburned fuel falls into the ash pan, be sure to empty the ash pan before firing up. Unburned fuel can ignite in the ash pan and cause damage to components. If the fire pot happens to overfill during regular use, turn the unit off and let it completely cool down. Then remove the excess fuel and clean the fire pot, making sure that all air holes are clear before firing up again. It's important to periodically clean the heat exchanger. First, you'll need to remove the baffle, which extends from the top to the bottom of the firebox behind the fire pot. Place a flathead screwdriver in the slot of the latches in the upper corners and push down so the bottom of the latches fall forward and off the post. Lift the baffle up and then out towards you to remove. Be careful when doing this since the baffle is very heavy. Next, thoroughly vacuum the back wall, clean the exchanger fins, and pay close attention to the area along the back of the floor below the heat exchanger. It's critical that the two pockets in the back are thoroughly cleaned out. When done, replace the baffle by centering it in the opening and inserting two locating ears in the bottom edge. Then tilt the baffle up and into place. The bottom of the latches will fit over the posts Using the screwdriver, push the top of the latch forward to lock the latch into place. To clean the exhaust blower, you will need to remove the exhaust motor mount. Make sure the unit is completely cool and unplug it from the wall. Use a 7mm nut driver or socket to loosen the nuts. You don't need to remove them, just loosen them. Carefully remove the blower and set it aside. Be careful since the fins are sharp. Use a shop vacuum to clean inside the exhaust area and the fins of the blower. Also inspect the gasket. If it's torn or damaged, contact your Quadrifire dealer to replace it. When done, reinstall the blower. We recommend contacting your Quadrifire dealer to have a professional exhaust cleaning performed once a year. For additional information about operating and maintaining your Quadrifire Trekker, visit Quadrifire.com.